can, can hear that once because we are recording. We will put this on uh, our social media page or our web, web page so people can see it. it's recorded. It's just not we don't have the live feature right now. So okay. we are in open session. Dr. Towers, please take it away. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have established a quorum and, and had the pledge. Um, this is. Um, oh. I'm sorry, we are ready for the superintendent comments, Jason. So very quickly, I, um, I'm not going to read everything that I would read during uh, uh, on a Thursday night, but I will just say this. We're having a fantastic week um, of, of preparing for our students coming out back on the 22nd. I want to thank all of our staff working extremely hard to have our buildings ready. We've had open houses, training, PD, you know it. And I guess the elephant in the room is that one word, but it's two words called power school. The transition has been really, really challenging for us. Uh, for those of, uh, I'm, I'm assuming everybody who will see this video understands uh, the challenges of changing a student uh, information system. And for us, uh, it was a, a, a not a, uh, something that we chose to do, but something out of necessity, since our Tyler Sis K-12 is going to be no longer, we had to move on to power school, which we're very happy about, but the transition has been very challenging. So thank you to our parents, our staff, everybody involved for your flexibility, for your patience. Um, it's been a challenging time, but we're getting through it. And as my letter said, on August 22nd on Tuesday, all of our students are going to come to school we're going to know where they're supposed to be. We're going to welcome them. We're going to love them. We're going to care for them. They're going to be safe. And we're excited about them coming back on the 22nd. So we're getting through all of it. It's been a great week. Um, I also want to have a shout out to Mr. Jeffrey Collier. We just found out that he is from the SEL Regional uh, Teacher of the Year. He is moving on to the state level. Now he's wow. top 17 in the state. Um, so we can clap for that. So great things happening in the City of St. Charles School District. We are ready for school on the 22nd. Um, and again, thank you for everybody's patience, support, um, and flexibility. And I want to thank the Board of Education for all your support as well. Uh, we're excited about this school year. So thank you, Dr. Towers. Thank you, Jason. Uh, we're ready for um, item 106. Did we have any, 105, did we have any board communications, uh, Heidi? No. Okay. Then item 1.06 is our audience comments. And Kelly, you, I believe you said no, you received no uh, audience comments. From no, that were received. Okay, so we have no audience comments at, for this meeting. We're ready for item 1.07. Do I have a motion to amend or adopt the agenda? I make a motion we adopt the agenda. I think Ms. you have to identify yourself. Heidi and Karen. Karen. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the agenda has been adopted. Uh, we're ready for uh, item 4.01, and this is setting the tax rate hearing um, for September the 14th at 515. Is there any discussion on that? Or, or does, Jeremy, did you need to fill us in on anything? No, I don't, I don't believe so. It's just a state requirement that we make sure we do this in open session the month prior. Donna, right. the consent agenda was first. I have 2.01. Oh, I'm sorry. I, sk I skipped the consent agenda and I'm ask I was going to ask Heidi. I do this every time, Heidi. It's either the audience comment or it's, yeah. it's something. Okay, I can read it. For efficiency, okay. the school board utilizes a consent agenda. Items placed on the consent agenda are routine in nature or are among the many decisions that the board has already determined are in the domain of the administration. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I move we approve the consent agenda. That was Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Do I have a second? I second, Heidi. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? The consent agenda has been approved. <laughs> now getting back on track. I was just rushing there for so excited to get to the text. Anyway. <laughs> uh, is there any discussion that you want on that? If not, can I have a motion to approve meeting at uh, September 14th at 515 for the tax hearing? I move we uh, approve the uh, 
setting up the tax rate hearing for September. Okay. Second. I second. Karen. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So the tax rate uh, hearing has been set. Item 4.02 is our right of way, and that is Jeremy, I think. Correct. Uh, this is a, a MoDOT request um, for doing some drainage uh, work near the uh, early childhood center. Uh, what they're finding is a um, is inappropriate flow of water that's hitting that retaining wall that is right alongside the 70. So they want to fix that area. It is our ground, but they want to fix it because they know the uh, potential for a future issue if it's not fixed. So they're asking for that easement to do that work which we uh, are not opposed to as far as a central office team. So, but we do need board permission for them to complete that work in that area. Uh, I did have, now that we're, uh, and I wanna spend a lot of time on it, but when that's complete, this, this uh, water correction by, go, by using this easement that they need from us, is that going to be covered then? Or is this gonna be like a big water collection basin? Do you know what it's gonna look like? Or it's not close. It's not. It's nothing that's close to our, um, you know, early childhood. But I just wondered. It would just impact the retaining wall. Oh. Uh, there's already drainage there. It's just not appropriate for the for the area now. Yeah. So they want to fix that to make it more appropriate for for the flow of water. Um, once that retaining wall was built, that parking lot was operated. It was something that they had found after the fact. And and as it was pointed out. It's also a win-win because down the road, our retaining wall probably is going to get damaged by all that water. That's what they're, they're suspecting, yeah. that it would eventually potentially collapse that section of the retaining wall. So, and, and they're willing to do the work. That's always a good thing. Do I have any other comments about the, <clears throat> the <clears throat> retaining the easement? Uh, <clears throat> Do I have a motion to approve the right of way easement? I move to approve the right of way easement as presented, Heidi. I second, Brian. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that uh, that passes. Uh, we're ready for the financial report? Sure thing. Uh, so the financial report, if you look at, uh, at the numbers and comparing to last year, it will show that we're sitting about one and a half million off of where we landed at this time last year, but that's not a cause of concern. Uh, a couple of factors with that. One, we know that our insurance claims have been extremely high in the last year and a half. So we're seeing some of that impact right now um, to the point of we're, we're a little over a million and a half of what we were expecting. And, you know, and talking to the market experts, because I'm certainly not a market expert in insurance, um, every year is different and it's all dependent on claims. And we've been struggling as a district here here lately. And we hope that that reverses and we show some progression on the, on the flip side uh, here sooner rather than later. So we have that, but we also know that there's uh, a, a few um, ESSER checks still out from the federal government that would, that would replace that. So, uh, we're still sitting around that 22% mark. If we were to, when we ended June 30th, uh, we were at 22.4 or something like that. That's still showing that same data. No spending has changed uh, from that time. But just to give you context of where, what we're going to be looking at when we go into this next uh, insurance uh, with our insurance committee meeting is our high claims usage and how we can hopefully provide the same benefit uh, but help lower our cost on the district side of things. So that's something to think about, but that's certainly uh, first month of spending in the, in, the, in the school year. There's nothing big to report, nothing alarming to report, no, no big changes with finances there. Uh, outside of that, ASBR was turned in uh, by the deadline to the state. So that's good news for, for the district. Um, construction projects, uh, myself, Dr. Seifert, have been hitting those along with Scott Bennett, obviously. And um, we've got temp occupancy uh, provided to us for school to start with no concerns and all of those projects and three of those projects were extremely large. Um, so, we, uh, you know, you go into that a little shaky, like you don't know how it's going to go down, but 
uh, we were we were fortunate with uh, good contractors doing great work over the summer and meeting that deadline. So um, we're very, very pleased with that. The only other thing I'd like to mention to the board, just as a heads up, we will be bringing a Lincoln bid to you in September, and that would be to uh, for a cafeteria kitchen uh, kitchen uh, work that's going to be completed in that. So we'll get that in the uh, September board report. But outside of that, I don't have anything else to share. Um, I have a question um, about the insurance. The uh, district is currently self-insured. At what point would you consider going back to um, to not being self-insured? How close are we to that point? I, I would still, I would say before we would get into that conversation, uh, we would need to look very closely at our finances and say, um, because you want a full year of, of, of uh, self-insurance payment essentially uh and and we still have that by several years i think once we if we get in that down below that route uh, down below into that range that's where we need to start considering what other options are there uh, there's some very there's a lot of other things that we could do because we know not being uh self-insured is more expensive uh in the long run but they the the uh, insurer takes on all of the all of the risk. Right now, we're taking on the risk. They're they're completing the paperwork. Essentially, that's an easy way of looking at it. Um, but they would take on the risk, and right now, we're showing some risk. So that would be very uh, difficult for us to get a a, a quality rate, uh, in my opinion, at this point in time. Any other uh, questions or comments? Do I have a motion to approve the financial report? I make a motion to approve the financial report, Aaron. I second, Ellen. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, our district financial report uh, passes. Thank you, Jeremy. Do I have a motion? Wow, do I have a motion to adjourn uh, the meeting? I motion to adjourn the meeting, Heidi. Do I have a second? I have a second, Karen. I, Ellen. <laughs> uh, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Having heard none, we are adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.